Hey, you all, oh, Carpetbagger here, coming to you live from the South, more specifically. We are in New Orleans, Louisiana, and even more specifically than that, we're in front of Jam Nola. The, uh, this is a interactive, immersive art installation here in New Orleans, celebrating New Orleans culture. And I am absolutely fascinated with New Orleans culture. Love the city, love the, the, the traditions. The, 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 there's no city like it. No city has quite a unique culture as, as New Orleans. So uh, Jam Nola, the, the Jam stands for Joy, Art, Music. So combining joy, art, and music together to create an immersive, interactive museum. I uh, definitely love going to immersive interactive museums. So as I was in town, I saw this, love New Orleans, love immersive art environments. So I figured we'd check this out. So please follow me. See the gateway here. Some uh, mm -hmm. New Orleans mm -hmm. objects. There, the the mask, the Mardi Gras mask, the trumpet, symbolizing jazz music. And then right above the door, we have the delicious king cake, kind of a giant, delicious frosting covered cinnamon roll. Of course, the, you always try to find the baby inside the king cake. You see the the uh, Mardi Gras baby poking out there in the center of the king cake. Entering here we see this circle of puzzles. Looks like it's a bunch of different puzzles mashed and connected together. Pretty interesting. See the Looney Tunes bits there. This right here you can see the hairs made out of these little plastic cups. It has uh, jam, jam Nola on the cups there. See the wall, umbrellas or parasols there. See them being walked down the street, the elaborate costumes there, including the umbrellas. It says, what's your jam? So I noticed this really cool wallpaper here. It's little tiny hand mirrors. You can actually see the reflection in them. It's got an eyeball right there. It's this room here made out of recycled materials, kind of like a, almost like a flooded room. See the chandelier there. And then this light fixture was said that it was actually made out of uh, Gatorade bottles. See the chandelier hanging right there. And apparently this light fixture here made out of a recycled wedding dress. I do love this giant uh, Mardi Gras skull there. It'd be a skull mask to be worn. And we enter the room of murals here. You see the Mardi Gras mural there on the wall. Actually, the floor itself is actually a mural or a collage here. You can see the Mississippi River winding through. The house is there. Over here, you see uh, some footballs on the wall. I know football, professional football, very popular in New Orleans. It's the Saints. The Saints uh, that the people of New Orleans love as far as football goes. So they actually have a, a football there sticking, protruding out of the wall. And some uh, golden footballs here, I guess, for us to, uh, to pose with. We have a New Orleans parade scene says these characters in these murals are actually representative of all the different uh, Mardi Gras crews, the different parades. Each crew has their own parade. I don't know them all by name. I think that is Zulu right there with the uh, with the face paint. If you know if you know more about Mardi Gras crews, leave a comment 
in the comment section if you can identify some of these. That looks like Pan, the goat god, right there. And I, there's a Chewbacca right here. And actually, they do have a Star Wars themed uh, Mardi Gras parade called Chewbacca. It's that familiar New Orleans grating right there. The street light. It's more, uh, more of the Mardi Gras characters over here. There's a giant, giant skeleton key there in the middle. The streets, there are five different artists here. Just a stoop right there. And a mural about po' po boys. Po boys, see the character there eating the giant po' boy. There's some uh, tomato creatures around him. Tomatoes, celery, shrimp there. Is that a cucumber of some sort? This is a half, this is half oyster, so I guess a half oyster po' boy. I do love po' boys. I do love fried oysters, especially. It's a giant po' boy there. I guess you can pose as if you're eating the world's largest po' boy. It's a lot even for me. These reflective orbs here. Hello, everybody. I'm an orb. Enter through this interesting doorway here. So we see some more of these reflective orbs. Oh, I think it's like a infinite mirror in there. Actually see the floors here actually made out of Mardi Gras beads. Very colorful beads there. And from here we head into Bling Bayou. It's some sort of golden swamp here. See the golden walls of the swamp, the hanging Spanish moss there, flickering like fireflies. And then look at this. A solid gold alligator. Yeah, I really love this alligator there. You can see the jewels encrusted in its scales. You can see like little bits of mirror around its eyes and lips. Do alligators have lips? If they do, this one has uh, mirror lips. Looks like he's chomping, chomping a big Mardi Gras bead there. Over here, there's like a, a boot house. I guess similar to the old woman and the shoe who had too many kids. She didn't know what to do, but almost like a work boot version of that. Oh, let's see a little shiny jeweled bunny over there. And then what is this? Some sort of big jeweled beetle. Let's see the old shutters here. Little bits of Spanish moss poking through. Enter this room here. You can see all these vases or vases on the wall. What is the difference between a vase and a vase? I, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it's just a different pronunciation of the same word. Some words there. It represents hope, life, respect, love, courage there, and then happiness. Up there. Everyone loves happiness. Here of the wall of intentions. It says, please write a hope, a wish, or a dream, or a positive message on the adhesive leaf and put it out in the universe by adhering it to the wall. You can see some of the hopes, wishes, and dreams here. This one says, get my hair back. This one says, Elvis is alive. This one says, I hope my kids will have the same freedoms as I do when they are older. So we'll take our little golf pencil there and write, uh, write a hope, wish, or dream. Let's see, just hope the world calms down. Hope the world calms down. So we'll take our leaf there. And we'll uh, stick it here to the wall of intentions. You can see this towering tree here in the center of the room. Got some bottles around those trees. A lot of times you do see that in like folk art environments, bottle trees, 
trees with bottles stuck onto the branches. And check this out. From here we enter the crawfish room. You see this crawfish here? He's boiling up a pot. He's got in his in his pincher there. He's got a box of zatarans, the seasoning there. He's pouring it into the pot and uh, cooking himself up uh, a dinner. And I guess you can put yourself in this pot. And you know what? I've eaten enough crawdads, crawfish over my life. Well, I think it's time to give them a turn to uh, cook and eat me. And there we go. I'm being, being boiled alive by a crawfish. It's kind of a horrifying ideal there that every year your insides boiled and a crawfish devouring you. I, just, I think about how humans eat crawfish. They pull their heads out, they suck the juices out of their very body. I wonder if he's going to pull my head off and suck the juices out of my body. And hopefully, hopefully, I can only hope that I taste as delicious as a nice boiled crawdad. Oh, hope, you, hope you enjoy eating, eat, eat, eating my juices there, buddy. How do we, how do we want to make this, this film? We all go terrified. Ah! Like, maybe it's kind of like I'm enjoying it a little. Ah! Gotta get back out of here. Oh. Look at this crawdad wallpaper here. This is amazing. We have, uh, oh, yes, these are crawdads watching Mardi Gras. We have a uh, crawdad who's drunk in the bathtub. Other crawdad who's trying to unclog the toilet. Maybe throwing up in the toilet, I don't know. A little picnic. It's nice. Some, some jazz crawdads there. Playing on the piano and the trumpet and the washboard. Crawdads hanging out at the beach there. Of course it is tradition, I think, to serve crawdads on newspaper. So you see the newspaper on the floor here. Looks like these are some real newspapers. This is the Times, the Can You, the Massids, fitted due to Dr. John with music and merriment, looks like a jazz funeral there. We've got an uh, article here talking about we mourn for you and those beautiful lives taken. Talking about uh, a, a, a murderer here. There's an accused murderer right there. It says advocates call for an end to money bail. There's more crawdads hanging out over here. This one's uh, Playing the piano. It's got a little uh, captain's captain's hat on. Is that supposed to be like uh, oh, like the the captain and uh, Tennille there? Is he uh, plays tickles the ivories with his uh, many many legs and claws? Playing the piano here with oh, it's a real it's a real piano there. Playing the piano here with the crawdad. What's that? What I think of piano duets. Uh, what was that one show? Uh, All in the Family where they. They play the piano together at the beginning. It's those are the days. I don't know a lot of piano songs. In fact, I don't even know the basic principles of uh, playing the piano. So what's, a, what's a good duet here? Islands in the stream, that is what we are. Come away with me to another place. We can rely on each other. Uh huh. From one season to each other. Uh -huh. And this crawdad here looks like he's uh, maybe a little, little intoxicated, passed out. Been drinking some Abita beer there. Abita beer, the uh, the other famous thing in Abita besides the mystery house. Oh, sure has sure has been a long day here in the Crescent City of. Of New Orleans, just gonna relax here in my uh, Adirondack chair with my good friend, the drunken passed out crawdad. He's just like splayed out here, so we'll uh, we'll do the same. And of all these amazing crawdad photo ops, this might be the most amazing. You can actually take a bath with a crawdad. You can see him scrubbing himself there with the bath brush. The bubbles, normally they're taking a bath in one of these things and being boiled alive. So must be relaxing being able to be in the hot water and know that you're uh, you're not being cooked. Oh yeah. We'll scrub in here. We'll watch each other here. I'll I'll clean your disgusting mouth like what is that called? The thorax. Thorax there, and you can scrub you can scrub my back a little bit there. 
next room there's a pretty fun photo op you can see these giant rippling muscles on the wall so you can uh, stand here and pretend that you have uh, giant rippling muscles instead of weak skinny arms like I do. You see you gotta tuck your real arms here. You gotta hide your, hide your real arms up here. And look at that. Ah, 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 that's right. That's my, you know Arnold, my Arnold impersonation is very limited. Ah, rah, 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 that's right. And mostly I'm just ripping off, uh, ripping off Adam, the Woo's Arnold impersonation. Ah. Most has big muscles. You can be like Hulk Hogan too. He has the uh, Hulk. What was it? 24-inch pythons are are coming for you. What's behind this this curtain here? Oh, these glowing gems here. Oh, you can see the different light effects here in this room. It's a more calm and tranquil room. Oh, we actually hear some. So we walk through, the jewels make different sounds, musical noises as we travel through. Yeah. Oh, look at this. This is a mock-up of a Mardi Gras costume room. Different costumes here, different things that will be worn during Mardi Gras parade. It's very amusing costumes here you can see this uh this custom fanny pack that it fits a box of franzia the uh, box wine and you can see the tap of the franzia box comes out there so you could drink a box of franzia as you are in a parade yeah a lot of really awesome varieties of fanny packs here definitely feel like I should wear my fanny pack more this is a hat from the Skins and Bones crew, and then a football themed dress there for the uh, New Orleans Saints emblazoned on the belly. That's actually a COVID mask right there. It seems like it would be a bit obstructive to your face. You have the whole crown strapped to your face. This is called the Unicreature, and uh, yeah, it has a kind of, kind of a ballerina style dress and a uh, hat with. A unicorn horn on it, but also these giant eyeball monsters, which I guess are, are they shoulder pads? It's really insane. This crazy wig here. And uh, I like this hat on here. It's got the house and, and bonsai tree on it. These are crawdad manties and gloves. What are manties? Is that like man panties? And here is a jacket emblazoned with red beans from the crew of red beans. They're all different types of beans creating a mural on a jacket. It says this is the beautiful wreckage left behind during Mardi Gras season. All these different items used to make props and costumes. There's like a pile of googly eyes there. It's like spray cans, different kinds of paint and glitter. Little props that you would uh, Glue on, little apple there. It says election 2020. More little googly eyes there. A little packet of, of zigzag organic hemp rolling papers. And oh, just a big pile of little uh, cake babies there. The little Mardi Gras babies that you find in the king cakes. Okay, I guess you use this mirror here to try on this giant hat. Okay, so we gotta carefully carefully put this hat on you know, sit down we got a little stool here we can sit in and then okay stand oh stand up there and there we go there I am wearing the giant Mardi Gras hat I don't know how you could actually wear this like freestanding on your head without a broken neck it's a giant Mardi Gras just body decoration here you can see the difference New Orleans items, the alligator, the crawdads there. I like how the crawdads are emblazoned there. They do have some of the coolest wallpaper in some of these rooms. This is the Mardi Gras hat wallpaper. See all the 
amazing hats there. Kind of reminds me of the uh, the Willy Wonka wallpaper that has the berries that you can that you can lick and taste. This one's here has got uh, these snowball drinks on the shoulders with some spoons around the collar. Wonderful headgear up there. Looks like that is a, a po' boy hat. This one here, it's the different dolls coming out of the top. And then that is a, a, a Mardi Gras predator. A predator dressed up to be in the Mardi Gras parade. Now heading into the Macon groceries section. I guess these are maybe brand uh, brands of food that are popular in uh, in New Orleans. We have uh, what is that? Habik, Hub, Hubigs, Hubigs, Hubigs pies. See this big giant pie here. And uh, let's just try these on. So we got some costumes that we can uh, wear in these photo ops. Put the apron on there. Got the, uh, the chef's hat. Chef's hat with the H on it. Never had this product, but I thoroughly appreciate it. It's a giant loaf of bunny bread. I'm guessing bunny bread must be made must be made in New Orleans, right? I guess this is the swag photo op. It's posing with this giant purse. And there is a uh, grocery cart photo op saying check. Check me out. I guess uh, Schwegmans. Schwegmans. That must be a, uh, a local grocery chain. All right. Looks like I am a bottle of hot sauce here. Got a little, little green cap to take the cap out or or out the spicy hot sauce here. What we're in is jamming, jamming hot sauce. This cake hat here. This cake hat. It's a giant cake. You can see the slice there. I guess it's like what? That's a half chocolate, half yellow cake. I think you could tie this there and have it be like a, a cake bonnet. Even this is like pretty. Like you feel like the weight on your neck. I can only imagine those giant, uh, giant halves that they, that they have. Look at me. I'm a cake head. All right. Here we got a, a cheese puff. Cheese puff hat there. What does it say? Cheese, cheese wheeze on it. It's just a big cheese puffs there. Look at me. I have cheese puffs on my head. Chee wheeze. Cheese wheeze. What does it say? Cheese. The cheese. Chee wheeze. There we go. We have chee, chee wheeze. Chee wheeze on my head. And this is a. Uh, a mayonnaise hat here, the blue, blue plate, blue plate mayonnaise. It says. I guess the, the the real lesson here is that anything can be a Mardi Gras costume as long as it's somewhat over the top and borderline ridiculous. That you can fit in here at Mardi Gras. Wearing mayonnaise, wear mayonnaise, giant cup of mayonnaise on your head. All right, and this hat here. This is this is a bit of New Orleans culture here. This is the Holy Trinity. What is it? The the, the, the green pepper, the onion, the celery. We use these three ingredients in almost every uh, every local food dish has the three ingredients here known as the Holy Trinity. From there we enter into this music themed room. It says do what you wanna. Some different instruments on the wall there. I don't know the difference. But what, one of these is a tuba. I don't know which one. Leave a comment in the comment section. Which one of these is a tuba? Or maybe neither of them are tubas. Maybe I don't, I, mean, I really don't know what I'm talking about. I think that's a trumpet. That's some, uh, that's a clarinet there. And a ukulele. Oh, this is actually really cool. These flowers here are actually melted records. You can see the records melted and formed into these flowers. It's really cool. I wonder where they got all these different colored records. There doesn't seem to be any, there's plain black records in here. And then amongst this garden, we have a little uh, David Bowie rabbit hiding amongst the flowers. And this is the Attacrane wall. 
Edincrane? Edincrane? I don't know how to say that word, but uh, apparently you can play the music here. You hear that? You hear the... Make music just by... Make your own jazz music just by, just by touching the wall. And we have these drum cymbals here. Oh yeah. You touch it. And it makes the drum music. the Garden of Legends here. This is Professor Longhair here. I guess we have some famous local musicians. This is uh, Big, Big Frida. There's Louis Armstrong, one of the most famous uh, jazz musicians of all times. Fats Domino. Giant head of Dr. John there. We have Irma Thomas, and a much more contemporary name here. We have Little Wayne. Little Wayne there. His uh, dreadlocks hanging there over uh, over the entrance. I didn't know he was. I didn't know he was from uh, from New Orleans. And then we exit through the gift shop. So thank you for joining me here at uh, Jam Nola. Um, I, I, I did not know what to expect going in here. Um, I got, I, I heard about this. I just an ad had popped up for this, and I definitely love, uh, you know, the immersive art environments, uh, selfie museums, those sort of things. So this came up, and I definitely love the New Orleans culture. So I wanted to check this out, and I definitely loved it. It was a, it was a great, a, a, quite a variety of experiences. You know, you have local artists, a little some 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 of the rooms a little more abstract art. Some a little more on the nose. I think I did love that crawfish room the best. <laughs> also love the Mardi Gras costumes. So yeah, it's just a good, uh, good variety of different uh, New Orleans things going on in uh, in this attraction. So I'd recommend checking it out if you are in uh, the New Orleans area. If you like these videos, please subscribe. It'll let you know when new videos come out. Uh, I travel around the country filming roadside attractions, amusement parks, museums, haunted houses, and other fun stuff. If you'd like to help support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. Three dollars or more will get you a postcard once a month from me to you also. Let me see if I, if I have it here. We have the, the enamel pins in the, in the Etsy shop, including the no scares on stairs enamel pins for the Halloween season. I uh, put this on your person to let those ghouls, zombies, mummies, and trolls to not scare you when you are traveling up and down scares. No scares on stairs. That's the rule, and that's the way the rules should be. So until next time, my friends, this one's in the bag.